Hi friends, here in this video, we are going to see a problem on simple stresses and strain. So, let's get started. Here we have a question. A load of 270 kN is acting on a short RCC column. I'll write the data. Load denoted by capital P, 270 kN. It is 270 into 10 raised to 3 Newton is acting on a short RCC column of size 200 by 200. This I'll explain by drawing the diagram. So this is the cross section of the column. Next, the column is reinforced by 10 bars of 12 mm diameter each. So here inside this there are 10 bars. I'll draw the diagram. So here is the diagram in which we have a concrete block, it is 200 by 200, an RCC column inside which there are 10 bars of steel having diameter 12 mm each. So here there are 10 bars, so it is we can say made up of composite material, two different materials. Then the total load is given, after that the question is determine the stresses in steel and concrete. Sigma suffix S the stress in steel, Sigma suffix C the stress in concrete. If the modulus of elasticity of steel is 16.5 times the modulus of elasticity of concrete. So the Young's modulus for steel it is 16.5 times the Young's modulus for concrete. The condition is given in the problem. So for such a condition we have to find the stresses in both the materials. So let's get started with the solution part. Solution, first I will get the total area of the RCC column. And the total area is 40 into 10 raised to 3 mm square. Therefore, next I'll get the total area of the steel rods. There are 10 steel rods, each having diameter of 12 mm. So, therefore, total area of the steel rods A suffix S pi by 4 d square and the diameter is 12 into 10 because 10 number of rods are there and the answer is 1.13 into 10 raised to 3 mm square. Now from the total area of the RCC column I am going to subtract the area of steel rod to get the area of concrete because when we remove all the steel rods, whatever is left here is the concrete area that is from total I am going to subtract the area of the steel rod that would give me the area of concrete and remember 200 into 200 it is not the total area for the concrete. The area is from the total we have to subtract the area of steel bar that would give us the area for concrete. 
so therefore a suffix c capital a minus the area of steel and the value is 38.87 into 10 raise to 3 mm square so in the further part of the problem when we are going to calculate the area of steel we are going to use this area and for area of concrete we are going to use this value now since this rcc column is subjected to a total load of 270 kilo newton now this load is shared by both the material and at the same time the strain in both the materials would be same because this case can be considered as two different materials which are joined together in parallel so the load is applied on the parallel configuration and because of that there would be equal strain in both the materials so the first condition I am going to use here is strain in steel is equal to the strain in concrete strain in steel is denoted by e suffix s for concrete e suffix c therefore strain is stress upon young's modulus for steel and similarly for copper uh, here it is concrete And this formula comes from Hooke's law where we have Young's modulus as stress upon strain. So therefore strain is stress upon Young's modulus. That's why I use this formula. Now after this sigma s I'll keep it on one side. E suffix s would be shifted on to the other side. In the denominator we have E suffix c into sigma c. So therefore, now ES upon EC, since the relation is given, ES is 16.5 times of EC. So therefore, ES upon EC will be 16.5. I'll be keeping this as equation 1 in which we get the relation between stress in steel and stress in concrete and remember the condition of strains are to be used in case of bars in parallel like in this case of having equal length because the length of the rod and concrete column is not specified so we can consider them to be of equal length and when they are of equal length subjected to the same kind of loading we can say that the strains are equal and if the length of the rods are not equal like if the length of steel and the length of concrete are different in that case we would take the deflection as equal so that is the condition which we have to remember now after this first condition the next condition is of total load which is capital P is equal to load shed by steel plus load shed by concrete they are sharing the total load so therefore the load shed by steel is denoted by p suffix s whereas for concrete p suffix c and therefore load is stress into area for steel plus similarly stress into area for concrete Since stress is load upon area, therefore load is stress into area. The total load is given in the problem 270 into 10 raise to 3. Now in place of sigma s, 
I'll put the value 16.5 sigma C into area of steel the value we had calculated previously 1.13 into 10 raised to 3 plus sigma C into area of concrete 38.87 10 raised to 3 so on simplifying this I am going to get the answer of sigma C and the value is 4.69 Newton per mm square keeping it as the first answer that is the stress in concrete now I'll put this value in equation 1 where we have sigma s as 16.5 times of sigma c which is 4.69 and from this the stress in steel comes out to be 77.39 Newton per mm square that's the second answer so when we see the problem the two questions were asked we had to calculate the stress stresses in two different materials that is steel and concrete for the given RCC column and both the questions have been answered and with this the problem gets completed at the end if you all find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching